hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of vlogmas this time i thought we would have a seat well i would have a seat and chat with you guys about some of the some of the lessons that i've learned in 2021 because i feel like each year comes with like its own set of lessons and i don't know we're here to learn and we're here to grow from I mean each year so I have written them down because I'm telling you if I don't try things down I completely forget and then later when I'm editing Ama when I've already posted the videos and I'm like ah man I should have written I mean I should have said this lesson then I'm just yeah so I have written everything down also shout out to Skillshare because we've partnered up on this video and a little bit later on in the video I'm going to tell you a little bit about an exciting course that I took on Skillshare. Okay, so my first lesson and probably the most important lesson that I've learned this year is that you have to be quite flexible and adaptable and that's in business, in relationship, that's, that's in life. That's just in life because I feel like sometimes you can be so attached to a certain vision or or you're so attached to a certain outcome that when things don't go the way you had envisioned them then everything just kind of falls apart and you know you're not you have a really hard time getting back up i think that when you resist changes that are beyond your control when you keep resisting and resisting it it makes it's very 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 difficult for you to adapt and for you to adjust and for you to even see that okay this happened it's out of my control however you know like there's some good things that could possibly come out of this situation and for me i've really learned that a lot this year because so many things have changed in my life and if i was so so attached to how i envisioned my 2021 would be then i feel like i wouldn't have appreciated some of the good things that have come out of situations that i hadn't planned my parents decided at the end of last year you know what they want to move out of um, nairobi we were not even living in nairobi but they want to move even further away from nairobi they want to move you know like and i was not going to move outside of um nairobi so i had to quickly decide okay let me move to my own apartment so uh, like i think if i hadn't if i just gotten stuck there thinking no 2021 is not the year i had decided i was gonna move out you know if i had resisted that change i think it would have made everything a lot harder for me so go go with the flow and then even when we moved in here it was me and my sisters and then at some point um one of my brothers came to stay here because he was going to school one of my sisters moved back home i mean like you know it's just there's, there's been so much change that one thing i've realized is if you don't just go with the flow you can get stressed out because you're like i wish we could go back to how things were in march or in 2019 but they won't go back there so you just have to you just kind of have to go with the flow not to say you don't plan of course you have to plan but some things that are outside your control i'm telling you just just go with the flow okay another lesson i have learned in 2021 this one has to do with relationships when it comes to relationships money matters money matters i think maybe this is how i know that i'm like i'm not young anymore because i feel like when you're really young like early 20s like money doesn't matter that's even when you say those things of no like me i just want someone who is hard working we just come up together that's cute honey that is cute and then you just never talk about money money matters and i learned this actually i learned this in my previous relationship that you really have to be open when it comes to talking about money the way you talk about other things you also have to be equally as open when it comes to talking about finances because i don't know talk about how you view money how get to know how your partner views money get to know how together you want to like handle costs handle bills um just i think it has to be a really really open conversation um because maybe one person could end up spending a bit too much 
in the relationship and the other person doesn't see an issue with it but one person sees an issue with it and then resentment enters the chat money matters in a relationship and you actually have to talk quite openly about it another lesson i have learned quite related to relationships you guys you know me but i really do the most once i come out of a relationship i have to sit down with myself and my notebook and i write down exactly what it is that i learned from that relationship um, what i learned about myself in that relationship what i learned um, just generally about relationships so that i know okay this is where i went wrong this is where things went i yeah i i always have to do that car analysis so that now moving forward i'm able to be like okay this didn't serve me in the last relationship or didn't work in the last relationship so moving forward let me try something different or let me do more of this and less of this you know so one of the things that i learned this year is that you shouldn't try to change your partner <sighs> Because of this one, I feel like as women, okay, maybe, let me not speak for women, let me say me, 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 me as Joanna, I feel like sometimes when I'm with someone, always, there's always something I feel like I could change about them, you know, I'm just like, you know, if you just dress like this, or if you just did this, or if you just texted me this amount of times in a day or if you just you know you know just like wanting to change certain things about your partner i learned that 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 doesn't work that doesn't work and more importantly what i learned what i've learned this year is that there's no right or wrong way of doing life there's just your way and my way so it's really unfair to come into a relationship trying to change someone or trying to judge someone for doing life i mean life is already so hard life is already so hard without someone coming into your life um, to judge how you you choose to how you you choose to do life um right so yeah i think that's a really really big lesson i've learned that i think a relationship all relationships but this one in particular I'm talking about is romantic relationships. I feel like they should be the space where you feel you feel comfortable and safe enough to just be yourself um, without fearing that your partner is just gonna judge you or is just going to be nitpicking on everything you're doing. It should just be that safe space where you come in and you can just be yourself on this note there's actually a podcast that i listen to unfuck your brain i have um, recommended this podcast to you guys so many times so there's this one episode that she did that was about um the reference point you not being the reference point and the whole thing about the podcast was that um, oftentimes as human beings we tend to judge other people by using our own yardstick or our own standard which is basically you know if it was me i wouldn't do it that way but the thing is the other person is not you and the way you think is unique to you only other people don't actually think the way you think the way you think is because of every little tiny experience that you had in your life or that you've read or that you've had and our experiences are all completely no no two people have the same experiences in life so it's quite unfair for you to judge someone based on you know using your own using yourself as a reference point so in the podcast she says try to understand where the other person is coming from it's still along these lines of trying to change someone so rather than thinking i wish this person could like text me more it's because if it was me i would be texting them all the time you know instead of coming from that um place try to come from a place of let me try and understand why this person doesn't text me often because you you like to, you, it, it's about trying to understand how they think and it's not even at it to excuse behaviors like there's some things if you want someone to do and you communicate that then they should be willing to make an effort to do it but then it's also important to just understand where someone is actually coming from because they might tell you and you're just like oh like you actually thought that because that's not what i think you know just 
I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave that podcast episode in the description box down below so that you guys can check it out. It's a really, really, really good podcast. It's not even at about specifically relation, romantic relationships. It applies to everything across the board. So I'm gonna link it for you guys to watch in the description box down below. Another major lesson that I've learned this year is that you have to spend money to make money and you shouldn't be afraid to spend money to make money. I think for me, I realized I'm usually all too willing to spend money on things like, let's say, cl- things that are not going to have um, like a return. You know, like I'll order so much food from outside and I'll buy so many clothes, some of which I never even end up wearing. Um, I spend a lot of money on just things that have no return, but when it comes at it to spending money, let's say on improving my craft or um, let's say getting someone to help me manage my brand, then I start feeling mm, that's too much. I can't do it. I can't do it. And I know I'm not the only one who thinks that way, but this year I feel like I've really shaken that off um, and I've added people to my team who are helping me get closer to where i want to be closer to my goals so whether it's books whether it's courses whether it's like whatever it is that you feel is going to improve um your work your career don't be afraid to spend money on it and i think that that is the perfect segue to tell you guys about a skillshare course that i recently took Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video. Skillshare is an online learning community with so many inspiring classes for creators. I mean, the kind of classes you can find there, guys, are so varied. You can find things on photography, videography, um, journaling, cocktail making. There are so many classes I've taken with them that have all been really amazing. The one I just completed is called Productivity Basics, how to become more productive in four steps by Rich Armstrong. And it was a really short course, quite straight to the point. And some of the things I learned is, first of all, write everything down. Your brain is not made to store things. So it often forgets. So anything that comes to your mind, write it down, just write things down. The other thing I've learned is to prioritize what's important. We all want to do so many things, be it with work, when it comes to relaxing hobbies, whatever it is, but we just never get to do it. So it's important to prioritize what's important and also the things that enable what's important. I really enjoyed taking this class also because on Skillshare there are no ads so it's a really nice learning experience and then they are always always adding new classes which is something I love because you know I keep finding just very interesting courses to do on there. I have something for you guys in the description box. The first 1000 of you to click the link that I've put down below in the description box are going to get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So go ahead and click that link and just start exploring. Okay, another um, lesson I've learned this year, this one now is in relation to business. Business is a big part of my life. I'm a business woman. So uh, one thing that I really um, learned this year is that when it comes to business, it's so important to have a support system and structures in place. Um, For me, I I had already set up structures, in fact, the year before, but I think this year is when it dawned on me how important it is to have um, structures in place. And when I say structures, I just mean structures or or, um, a support team or support system is that if you're sick for two weeks or three weeks or something, your business is not going to shut down. Things are going to run as usual without you. So that's something I really appreciated that I had done for myself this year because for like the first uh, half of the year, I was so demotivated when it came to my business, Joanna K Cosmetics. I was very, very demotivated. I was so out of it. I was feeling like business is not worth it. Like, what am I even doing? You know, just trying to figure out like, ah, like what's the way forward? How do I... You know like get back into the zone and it was so nice 
for me to be able to take that time to like think through all these things with the business still running you know with people still doing their part in the business you know i would really 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 encourage anyone who has a business i know when you're starting of course you don't maybe don't have money to get other people into your business but i think it's something you should work towards creating structures in place you know that you're not the one who's packing orders who's doing this such that if you were to fall sick today orders would be packed you know so i think it's quite important to just work towards that such that you can take time off um, if you're unwell if you're struggling with motivation at least you know the business can go for some time without you it, it doesn't even have to like operate at optimum like when you're there but at least you know it's still running even when you're not there and my last and final lesson there are other things that have learned in 2021 but i feel like these were the main ones and this is a lesson um that i keep learning every year or it just keeps um being real to me every year if i could say that which is that consistency beats anything consistency will beat talent consistency i'm telling you consistency will it will beat connections networks consistency will beat anything if you're consistent and this is in anything that you do it will beat talent it will, like you have to be consistent you know and um towards the end of the year one of the things that I started like being really consistent in because I was I always used to say ah like my business is not doing as well as I want to and then I had a talk with myself and I was like how much um effort are you actually putting into this business Joanna how much effort so I decided every single day I'm going to put in a set number of hours into my business every day come what me I'm gonna put a set number of hours into my business and I have done that and I'm telling you I have seen the fruits of that and you know sometimes the thing with consistency is that you don't see you don't see the results immediately they don't just come immediately you have to really keep going and keep going and not give up to see results and it's the same way they are the the other way around if you have habits that are really bad and you're consistently doing them you won't see them today but you will see them eventually so consistency is key in anything you do that one is for sure consistency is like one of my top values in life and it's something i feel like everyone just struggles with until the day they die but still it's it's just a really important um thing so those are my lessons from 2021 guys please comment down below with what your lessons from 2021 are be it in career relationships family fr like friendships whatever it is please comment down below with what you've learned this year um i've shared some not all but the main one for me that I have learned this year is just not to be too attached to this vision that I have of what I'm supposed to be doing and where I'm supposed to be and just kind of go with the flow. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next day of Vlogmas. Bye!